comment. Hello and welcome. This is the second course in the three minute German series and it consists of lessons 10 to 18. If you're familiar with all the words and phrases you learnt in course one, then you're ready to go. The good thing about the three minute German courses is that everything you learn is recapped in later lessons. So you don't have to worry about going back to the start to refresh your memory. Although you can if you like, it won't harm you. At the end of every lesson are some recap practice exercises to make sure words and phrases you learned previously are still secure in your memory. In this course, you'll start to look at some different sentence structures in German. You'll be looking at some ways to ask questions, and then you'll get an introduction to a very useful part of the language, verbs. All of this will open up the German language to you, giving you many more things to say. Don't worry if you've never come across verbs before, or if you've had a bad experience with learning grammar. Everything in this course is explained in a simple and easy to understand way. As well as the new structures, we'll be exploring some new topic areas, including telling the time in German, booking taxis, and asking where things are. We'll also look at an interesting linguistic feature in English called the Saxon genitive, and we'll discover that it doesn't really exist in German, so we'll need ways to get around it. The best way to tackle the trickier features of any language is to spread them out, rather than looking at them all at once. Sometimes, when you open a foreign language instruction book, all the linguistic features of the language are introduced on the first page, and it can often be very off-putting. In the three-minute German courses, I have broken them down and spread them about. We look at each particular feature when it crops up naturally in the order of the course. In this course, there are a few such features that need explaining in order to understand how some of the German structures work. In this course, there are also some vocabulary expansion sheets for you to boost your German vocabulary. So, if you enjoyed the method of learning German that you found in course one, continue your learning with 3-Minute German course two. I hope you enjoy. Danke.